What's cracking, peeps? T Money up in the heezy here for Body Bags. Happy Friday. The week is Scream Factory week. I want to apologize last week for fucking up and doing, thinking it was Scream Factory week when in fact it wasn't. I believe the week is 237 or 238 this week, and it's the actual Scream Factory week. So, again, my apologies for doing two Scream Factory reviews um, two weeks in a row, but this is actually the correct official Scream Factory week, which is the week that I chose, or I mean the the uh, theme that I chose. So, the movie that I chose is probably, I'd have to say, my favorite Scream Factory release to date. Because I had never seen this movie prior to uh, it getting a release from Scream Factory, and so it's a combination of it being a blind buy and me just falling in love with the film. Those of you who don't know about this film, it's basically an alien creature feature uh, this alien creature comes down on Earth and wreaks havoc amongst, uh, a group of campers, and then it spreads beyond that to, like, the local town. I'll read you guys a synopsis for starters. Uh, first of all, the film is directed, produced and directed by Graydon Clark, um... Written by Lynn Freeman, Daniel Grodnick, Ben Nett, Steve Mathis, so multiple people. Um, and it stars Jack Palance, Martin Landau, Tara Nutter, Christopher S. Nelson, Cameron Mitchell, Neville Brand. I mean, it's an amazing cast. Sue Ann Langdon, Ralph Meeker, Larry Storch, etc. Uh, an amazing ca cast. I mean, the fact that Jack Palance, Martin Landau, Neville Brand, and Karen Mitchell are four of the names in the uh in the special or in the in the notes here on the back uh it's just amazing uh so uh, the synopsis reads a group of teenagers head out to the lake for a relaxing camping trip in the mountains they ignore the warnings of the local truck stop owner and head to their destination things go terribly wrong when they run into an extraterrestrial who throws deadly discs that suck the blood of their victims the group heads back to the truck stop for help from the eclectic residents, including a crazy war veteran played by Martin Landau and a determined hunter, Jack Palance. Also starring David Caruso, Neville Brand, Cameron Mitchell, and Kevin Peter Hall as the alien and directed by Graydon Clark, who also plays Predator. Uh, uh, directed by Graydon Clark, Joyce Dix, and Satan's cheerle Cheerleaders. Uh, this thematic predecessor to Predator is a non-stop ride in extraterrestrial mayhem. So excellent. I'm actually just learning now that Graydon Clark actually directed Satan's Cheerleaders and Joysticks as well. Satan's Cheerleaders I've seen. I've never seen Joysticks. I know that Code Red or Scorpion released that film. So i got to check that out because I really, really love this film. What I love about the film is the atmosphere, the acting, the story, uh, the setting, and the alien. Uh, the creature effects, special makeup effects of the alien are phenomenal. There he is, featured on the back there in blue. My only gripe is that you don't see enough of the alien, but I don't really want to get into the details about um, the actual plot so as not to give so much away, but I just love the story in this film. It's very typical of your extra... Well, it kind of, it blends like slasher with extraterrestrial, with monster movie. Uh, people getting picked off one by one by this alien and these discs that are thrown the special makeup effects phenomenal uh the kills in the film i love i've heard people complain about the little flying disc sucker things but i love them i think it's a riot it's definitely a lot of fun um and also just the bickering between all the local folk neville brand uh cameron mitchell and just uh, martin landau and 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 neville brand in particular and of course um who did i miss there Cameron Mitchell, they all are such iconic character actors. So to have them all together on screen playing these powerful roles um, and diverse, uh, it's just excellent. It reminds me, you know, like Alone in the Dark. Any movie that those guys are all in is just fantastic. Uh, the Being, I think. But yeah, as far as if, you, if you're a lover of, um, you know, the b films like The Being, extraterrestrial movies... Um, that just involve killer aliens. You'll love this movie. You can't go wrong. And it does really combine that slasher setting where you've got your group of kids out in the wilderness being tra tracked down. Instead of a slasher, it's an extraterrestrial being. And the scenes at the end of the movie where you really get to see 
the creature because for most of the movie you just see these flying discs like atta- like being struck on people and then like and that's cool too but at the very end is when you really get introduced to the creature and he's got like this glowing like aura about him um he's, he's like blue and the, the scene in the house particularly it's really creepy stuff i really i really like it like it's probably one of the creepiest aliens i've ever seen on screen i have to say so Highly recommend the movie. Don't want to talk much more about it. Check it out if you love, you know, your camp counts, your campers getting into a shitload of trouble, ignoring the warnings, the crazy locals, their uh, alternative motives. Let me say um, all that stuff meshed into one amazing extraterrestrial monster movie. You can't go wrong. Without warning, Scream Factory. Check it out. Like I said, it's one of my favorite releases to date. And it's a film that um, that really, I feel like, didn't get a lot of love until uh, Scream Factory released it. There's also amazing special features on this release, done by Michael Felcher of Red Shirt Pictures, which is amazing. Anything that he does is amazing. Uh, so the fact that he was back this and was willing to find, you know, as a fan of the film, essentially, is, says a lot. Uh, so check it out, guys. Highly recommend it. Without warning, Scream Factory. Buy it now! On body bags with horror fucking lies. Again, I'm sorry, guys, for two in a row, but hey. Catch you next week. Peace out.